Make a web search for Blender. Select the first entry. Navigate to Download on the top ribbon. The latest version will be highlighted in the middle of the screen. By default, this will be the Windows installer. You can also select other operating systems such as Mac OS, Linux, as well as other versions. You can also add Blender via the popular Steam video game digital distribution service. If you are looking for Blender LTS, you can find the currently maintained release on the bottom link. The current Blender 4.0.2 installed version has just little over 1 GB. Therefore, you can have multiple installed versions since these are very light in terms of space. In most complex scenes with high-detailed 3D models and 3D scanned assets, the scene files will easily occupy more space than the actual software. The installer has 318 megabytes. When this has been downloaded, double-click the file to start the install. Pressing on Next, accept the license agreement and choose the install location. I have set it on the C drive. Start the install. You can now run Blender. If you previously had the same version installed, Blender will automatically import some of the existing elements. If this is the first time you installed a specific Blender version, you will be greeted by the settings splash screen. That's it, you can now use the greatest 3D modeling program ever created, which will soon turn 30. Consider to donate to support Blender. Thanks for watching. Enjoy tinkering with the software.